boys and girls, welcome back for another week of the Big Bible Story. First of all, we'd like to start off with some singing, so if you'd like, join along. to see you again. Do you remember our friend Felix the Fox? He makes all kinds of faces. Happy, sad, scared, mad. He can make them all. And today he's going to use those faces to help tell our true Bible story. And today our Bible story is going to teach us that God wants me to be kind. Can you say that with me? God wants me to be kind. And that's exactly what our verse from the Bible teaches us. 
This is how it goes. Be kind and tender to one another. Ephesians 4.32. Let's do it one more time. Be kind and tender to one another. Ephesians 4.32. Have you ever seen a stalk of grain before? Some farmers grow them in their fields, and when they get nice and tall, they harvest them, and then they turn them into food like bread or cereal. I was wondering if you could be kind and help me out with something. We need help finding all the stalks of grain, so just point to them when you see them. We did it! Thanks for helping me. That was really kind of you. Hey, that reminds me of our Bible story today. We're gonna to hear about a very kind man who helps a lady find grain to eat. If you're ready to hear that story, give me two thumbs up. In the book of Ruth, there was a woman named Ruth. Now Ruth's husband had died and there was no one who was able to take care of her. Can you make a sad face with Felix the Fox? At the time, it was very hard for someone like Ruth to have a job and buy food. So on some days, she didn't have food to eat and she was very, very hungry. Can you make a hungry face with Felix the Fox? One day, Ruth went to the field of a man named Boaz. She went there to find some grain to make some food. In the field, the workers were cutting and gathering up the grain and sometimes they would forget some of it on the ground. Ruth would look for the grain that they had left on the ground and would pick it up. Let's pretend like we're looking with Ruth. Are you ready? We're looking, we're looking, we're looking for the grain. Can you do it one more time? We're looking, we're looking, we're looking for the grain. And stop. Just then, Boaz came to his field and saw Ruth picking up his grain. He didn't recognize Ruth, so he went to one of his workers and asked the head of the workers, who is this young woman who is picking our grain? Suddenly, Ruth was scared that Boaz would be mad at her and tell her to leave his field. Can you make a scared face with Felix? But that's not what Boaz did. Instead, Boaz said to Ruth, you can stay here and you can walk behind the women as they gather their grain and you can take whatever they leave behind. And if you get thirsty, you are welcome to have some water from my water jars. Ruth said to Boaz, Sir, why are you being so kind to me? But Boaz wasn't finished being kind. He invited Ruth to sit down and eat with his workers. And she ate all that she could and she even had some left over. And then Boaz said to his workers, when you're picking up some grain, leave some behind for Ruth to pick up. When Ruth heard this, she was so, so happy. Can you make a happy face with Felix the Fox? In today's true Bible story, what did Boaz do that was so kind? Yeah, he helped Ruth have grain to eat. He even gave her extra food to eat. He was so, so kind. One of the ways that we can show people that we have the love of Jesus in us is by being kind to others. I have an idea. Let's try to fill this heart up with the love of Jesus. Let's think of some kind things that we could do for others and see if we can fill it all the way up. Hmm, maybe we could share a treat with our brother or sister. That worked a little bit, let's try again. Maybe we could make our bed without being asked. That worked again. Hmm, maybe we could help our moms and dads with some cleaning. That worked too. Okay, I think we just need one more act of kindness. How about we let our friends play with some of our favorite toys? Whoa, we filled it all the way to the top. This heart is filled with the love of Jesus. God was so kind to us when he gave us Jesus. Jesus died on the cross and rose again so that we could have our sins forgiven and be friends with Jesus forever in heaven. 
God is kind to us and he wants us to be kind to others too. That's our big idea for today. Let's go tell Topher. Look at little Topher. He's sleeping so soundly, but we have to wake him up. Ready? One, two, three. Wake up, Topher. Remember, God wants us to be kind. God wants us to be kind. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you, Coach. Oh. Say goodbye. Let's say a prayer and ask God to help us be kind. Fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for being kind to us and for giving us Jesus so that we can be friends forever with you. Help us to be like Boaz so that we can be kind to others. Amen. Thanks for joining us today, kids. We'll see you next time.